Hi, this is Bill Semp, and I'm here to talk about an interesting new vulnerability that was discovered this month, um, a client-side template injection, it's called. It's kind of the little brother of server-side template injection. And it was discovered that Angular um, is vulnerable to sandbox escapes, um, given certain constructs of um, the Angular markup code. So what we discovered that was interesting today was how it reacts with ASP.NET um, in, the, in the Microsoft space. So if you take a standard ASP.NET form and turn it into an Angular application, say you're just trying to integrate Angular, um, we, we go ahead and reference, I'm gonna reference an older version of Angular. It works in many versions of Angular, but this is easier for demonstration purposes. Um, and then of course we just need to turn it into an Angular app by having JavaScript reference the top level form. Um, but say we've got some, it's code on the, play, on, on the page that does um, plain reflection. Um, we're depending on validate requests to protect us from cross-site scripting, which arguably you shouldn't be doing anymore because there are some escapes from that as well, but they're, they're much more difficult to implement. Um, so if we have something you should never do like, um, uh, like this, uh, query string, um, just get a query value here, you know, you're, you're just reflecting, oops, the, the results of a, um, of a search all back to the page, you know, standard thing. So if we save this, um, if we save this and double check here, okay, and then run it. So if we, of course, just run this page, nothing happens, right? So we have to give it a query string. So we go uh, Q equals test and it should um, reflect test and it does. So if we go back here and grab a standard cross-site scripting attack, right? Like this, we'll get the validate request error, the famous yellow screen of death that everybody goes and looks that up. And then of course, every, every Google page on the planet says, oh, just turn off validate requests and it'll be fine, which of course opens you up completely to cross-site scripting. Um, but say you haven't done that, you're depending on, you're catching this error, you're depending on this to protect you about cross-site scripting. Well, the interesting thing is, is that Angular will still um, process anything that has curly braces. So we could go here and paste this like that, two minus one, it'll reflect one, which is really interesting. Um, so can we escape the sandbox? Because Angular is pretty well protected from this. Well, as it turns out you can. There's a whole collection of sandbox escapes that have been discovered in all versions of Angular. Um, and so if we pass in this, which works in 115, we get cross-site scripting attacks. So of course, with an attack like this, we could um, it, it, we could do it silently, and it would uh, we could have potentially have access to all kinds of information regarding the user session at the moment. So I just thought that was an interesting take on things. Um, the, the the depth of cross-site scripting is quite interesting, and this is a new uh, a new piece of it that we figured out today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Just a quick little demo. Um, fire up Visual Studio, try it for yourself. Let me know what you learned.